Well, hello everybody and welcome back down into the dungeon for kind of a random video as we walk through the various stages of light down here. Um, I'm not quite sure uh, exactly how many days it's been since I got this Victor electronic mouse trap thing, but I came down here this morning in a panic. I thought I had forgot to put the uh, plastic cover back on the humidome that I've got uh, for my little seedling tray, right? So I came down here absolutely terrified that everything had been eaten to the ground and on the upside I found that the cover was on the seedlings. Also on the upside I checked inside the trap because I was nervous. So here we have that little electronic trap. See? It flashed really really briefly. There's a huge pause but it did flash. Very hard to see that little light. But when we open this up in here, well, wouldn't you know, looks like the electrical charge does pass through and this does work. So I'm going to need to re-up my weaponized peanut butter and I'm going to need to get rid of our furry little guest here. But I wanted to let you guys know that this trap does work. I mean, I didn't think something that fat would force its way through there and then there and like I, I honestly didn't think this would work but it did so this guy is going outside to meet the chickens because they are after all omnivores and if they encountered a rodent in the wild they would dispose of it and the joy of this there's no poison involved and I'm absolutely certain this thing is dead so when I shake it out it's not gonna run away and when the chickens eat it, it's not going to poison them. And since I am a huge believer in recycling, repurposing, everything on the homestead has a purpose, can be put to a greater purpose, I am going to feed it to the chickens. I, I see no reason not to in the wild, like I was saying. They would eat this thing if it ran across the floor of their coop. So if you're interested in finding out how that goes down, check out the Chickens Try playlist on the farm channel. I am going to go and feed them the, the mouse today. Uh, if they don't touch it at all, well, it won't be much of an interesting video. But um, if they do touch it, it may not be a video you want your children to watch unless you're um, growing them up with the understanding of how a farm actually works, which is, again, why these things are happening on the farm channel as compared to on the JT Bear channel, which is more of a family-friendly gardening, light and fluffy kind of stuff. There's death on the farm channel. It is what it is. It's a farm. It is what it is. Anywho, I need to go take care of that because I want to get this little stinker out of my greenhouse. Well, out of my basement garden. Not really a greenhouse down here, is it? It's uh, out of my dungeon. Although there is a lot of green growing down here. So, I mean, uh, 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 slip of the tongue, you know. It's a Freudian slip. Yes, yes. Which uh, reminds me of a terrible joke I saw on Facebook this morning, but I'm not going to share it with you because, as I was saying, family-friendly channel. So anyway, I have to go dispose of this furry little intruder, and then I'm going to re-up the weaponized peanut butter, put this back down here in case it was not alone. Rodents rarely travel alone, so I'm just going to keep this sucker going, and uh, hopefully the chickens like... I'm going to say mouse. It's got kind of a long tail. I won't know for sure until I pull it out of there, but right now I'm going with, I hope the chickens like mice. All right, take care, everybody. I will see you on Sunday as we look at everything that's safely growing on down here in the dungeon. Take care, everybody.